The freight forwarding market is counter-cyclical, which means that in times of economic downturn is able to enhance profits, even though total revenues weaken. This is because as volumes soften in a recession, the carriers, either shipping lines or airlines, have excess capacity, which allows the freight forwarders to drive down rates, whilst passing on only a proportion of these savings to the shipper. The chart provides an illustration of the relationship between carriers and freight forwarders throughout the economic cycle. It tracks demand, supply, and the impact on forwarders' gross margins. This latter metric is most important for forwarders, as it strips out the amount paid to carriers and is a better indicator of their performance. During a period of economic growth, one, demand and supply increase. In this particular normal scenario, capacity and volumes are seen to be growing at a similar pace, which means that rates and margins are stable. However, as economic growth starts to slow, as the cycle enters its second phase at point A, supply continues to increase. The reason for this is that the carriers do not have access to perfect market intelligence. Therefore, their decision making as regards whether to bring on or take out capacity lags the actual market situation. The effect of this for forwarders is that gross margins start to increase, although revenue growth slows as volumes and rates drop. This part of the cycle demonstrates forwarders' counter-cyclical business model, which is one of the sector's key strengths. As we can see at point B, shipping lines and airlines have realised that they need to adjust their capacity and supply declines. Rates and forwarders' margins start to stabilise. When we move on to point C, the economy has reached the bottom of its cycle and demand once again picks up. However, due to the lagging effect, supply continues to be taken out of the market, meaning that rates harden and forwarders' margins drop. The latter bottom out at point D, when supply capac capacity is brought back into the market. During this time, forwarders still benefit from rising volumes. It should be noted that the closer point A is to point B, the lower the amplitude of change in forwarders' for gross margins. In other words, the flatter the curve will be. Another scenario is shown in this chart. Here, the capacity and demand curves are further out of alignment. Supply at point X peaks higher and later than the peak in demand. This creates a period of time between points A and B, during which volumes are still rising, but are being outstripped by supply. This means that rates are falling, forwarders' gross margins are rising, and so are their revenues. It could be termed a golden scenario for forwarders. This scenario, in many respects, illustrates where we are presently in the economic cycle, and why results in 2011 will be so good for forwarders.